Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, April 20th, 2022. It's a lot of twos and zeros. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Innsworth for Longmont Public Media. Our next lunar phase will be the last quarter moon on Saturday, April 23rd, exactly a week after our Easter full moon, the pink moon, I guess it was called. Taking a look at drought conditions, very little change except right down here if you look at the southeast edge of the state, things are getting worse in the uh, Oklahoma panhandle and corner of Texas, and well, panhandle of Texas and southwest Kansas. Nationally, if you take a look at Texas, this New Mexico area, and also in the west, things get a little worse out in all those locations. Not much change around Colorado. A little lessening of drought on the east. There's plenty of rain and lots of storm systems happening out east of us. Taking a look at snow, I wish this was smoother, but it's really hard to get these to fit day to day. So we watch this going along, and right there we have scooted through peak snow climatologically and holding our own there. I mean, we're kind of going almost level. Maybe we can go back and hit normal out here if we can get a few more systems coming through that'd be that'd be great and looking at precipitation we do keep getting uh, snow in the mountains storm after storm even if not much is happening on the plains at all so here's a sprinkling along here on i-25 but some good water amounts up in the last week in the mountains looking at our severe weather uh, climatology so this is what's expected going to the first week of April, second week of April, third week of April, a little bit uh, of the severe weather is now creeping into eastern Colorado. So you can see it's almost here that we could get some. May, we certainly can get severe weather. June, I think, is our peak, especially for hail. And taking a look at actual severe weather, uh, most of it's confined to the uh, Oklahoma, Kansas, over to Missouri area. Then it bumps back on Thursday to be most of Kansas, a little bit of Oklahoma, and then on Friday, look at that, it's backing up. The dry line is setting up right on the uh, eastern edge of Colorado with some chance of thunder with that next system uh, for northern Colorado and the western slopes and out of the plains. There's still a little dry slot coming in here. That dry slot's also going to matter uh, when it comes to precipitation, and the models do not agree. So for Wednesday, we've got a front drape down, keeping us a little cooler than it was on uh, Thursday. That gets replaced, I'm sorry, Tuesday, and then replaced by Thursday, it gets, starts to actually head up to the northeast. We get pretty warm again. There's our next system coming into the Pacific Northwest. There's the severe chances in Kansas. And then for Friday, there's the severe chances just to our east. Uh, they have a snow-rain mix for the mountains and precipitation for the northeast plains. There's that little dry slot. How far up that goes is going to make a very different forecast Wednesday through Saturday. I say Friday through Saturday. I got my days all mixed up. So this is an interesting um, compilation here. This is our GFS Ensemble showing temperatures way above normal at the beginning and then very cold for the weekend and then jumping back next week. But it's got the precipitation uh, off by like a day and a half. So I'm not really sure what's going on with, with this model. It just doesn't quite line up correctly. So for Thursday, that heat comes from this big ridge sitting up over the state. Here comes the next trough and storm system into the west. Uh, for Friday afternoon, the low is tracked across northwestern Colorado and up into Wyoming, Nebraska border. The cold front is moving in and a warm front up here in the, the plains. So Saturday, the next trough digs in, pushing the warm temperatures away and giving us our chance of precipitation. About the best I can find for precipitation, though, is this, with the low now moving up into the Dakotas, mountain snows, and dry in the plains, according to the GFS. So, yeah, there's just too much dry air coming in. Um, so it's kind of disappointing. So let's look over the next 10 days. Watch that Thursday ridge. Here comes the trough for the weekend, 
to cut off lobe there and it drags on through. North northwest winds aloft through the weekend and Monday as that southern trough that might be doing something. Then a ridge rapidly re-establishes re itself on Tuesday and Wednesday. We're up to uh, April 27th, 28th on Thursday. There's a west coast trough out there but uh, we'll see what it does. That's a long ways away, a week and a half now. Looking at temperatures, there's our current front moving uh, out with the warm air racing in for Thursday and Friday. Really hot temperatures. Next cold front pushes in. You can see a very clearly cold air coming back around the low. Really strong demarcation down in the uh, southern states and out on the plains. It's a slow moving front though. You can see it just kind of oozing along. Then the heat comes back Tuesday, Wednesday next week for all of Colorado. Some really above normal temperatures. So this is where we can watch for precipitation. You can see how underwhelming this is. Even though it's a strong storm and we're going to get wind and good temperature change, there's the precipitation in the mountains and away it goes up into Canada to do all sorts of great stormy things up there and we just get lingering mountain snows. That could keep our snowpack going nicely, keep the moisture coming into the state. Uh, we get a lot of the water that we use from the other side of the mountain. So over the next five days, this may be generous, but about a quarter inch of water just along I-25 down to uh, 5 hundredths of an inch, uh, and nothing out on the plains. Snow, again, highest elevations get stuff. Then for the next 10 days, another little system might bring in some more moisture for the mountains. At least they're not totally dry, but the eastern plains definitely need it. And the snow, again, higher elevations of central, northern, southern mountains. So Wednesday we'll go from the 70s up to the 80s on Thursday and Friday before the cold front comes in. Chances of precipitation overnight into Saturday. We cool down significantly for the weekend and in the beginning of the next week and then we return to 80s on Tuesday. So for our frequent other up, what, weather updates, <laughs> stumble at the end. And uh, local news, check out Longmont Leader on BroomfieldLeader.com. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Tongue-tied, sometimes. Keep looking up.